G'day. Hello there. I'm Ozzy Robbo. I'm Mr. Chen. And welcome to an episode where we visit the 50s Prime Time Cafe. Yeah, uh, we've been wanting to do this for a while. We've been watching vlogs about it over the last two years of not being able to travel to Disney. And we're finally getting to do it with our friends and Ted and Mish, and we're kind of more excited. Um, I suspect we're going to be very full by the end of it, but let's see what they've got in store for us and let's see how well we behave. Right, right, Uncle Freddy, what, what did you order for dinner? Uh, I actually can't remember now, what was it I ordered? Um, chicken Caesar salad? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was Cousin Megan's garlic. Cousin Megan's garlic. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hot meatloaf? Yeah, yeah. Meatloaf? We haven't got the menu. What did you get to start with? Uh, we've gone for the herb fried cheese, garlic and herb fried cheese. Cheese what? Cheese anything. Meatloaf. I've got the meatloaf. Doesn't make it sufficient. Thank you, Spanky. No, is that Spanky? <laughs> Scooter. Um, yeah, so meatloaf and the fried cheese. I'm gonna I, I suspect this is going to be a very filling meal. Right. And so I got the sampler. The uh, junior? I don't, I don't actually know what's in there, to be honest. Yeah, so I got quite a uh, junior. Uh, uh, oh, jeez, thank you. More. Thank you. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, so I got, I got the sampler, which has meatloaf. Uh, fried chicken. Pot pie, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, the head of a small child. No pressure. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> yeah, but I want to try a little bit of everything, so this seemed like a good option. Chicken, fork tender pot roast, traditional meatloaf with all the fixins. Fixins. You gotta say it like that as well. Fixins. 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 <laughs> And I do, I, I honestly think we're going to be very, very full and probably rolled out of here. Yeah. And I, we've I, got, I, what the drinks we've got? Electric lemonade margarita. Electric lemonade margarita for three of us. And then this one has to be different. <laughs> she got her 70 cherries. Yeah. <laughs> As asked. This was a magical star cocktail. A magical mistake. <laughs> you can turn the table, you can set the table. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Remember me when you leave the tip. I need some of that. Thanks, Spanky. That's how your place should look when it's done. Right? Tongue marks and everything. Thank you. Why are you setting the table, Mish? Because my elbows were on the table earlier. He's been a naughty boy. <laughs> naughty. I got spanky. Spanky. I got Uncle Freddy. I got Uncle Freddy. Yeah. I got uh, Junior. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> so anyway. Ted, can we keep him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man. We don't keep it. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> so I've never had meatloaf before. Um, it has garlic, potatoes, and runner beans with it. Or green? Is it green beans or runner beans? Green beans. I really actually like green beans, so that's awesome. And I'm, as people who watch know, I'm not the biggest fan of fruit and veg. But yeah, the, the meatloaf is outstanding. It's really good. It's going to be very filling though, I can tell already, just by like, two bites in. Yeah, really nice chicken. Nice flavour on the outside, on the skin. And um, really kind of juicy and tender chicken. Yeah, beautiful. Some of my meatloaf. <laughs> yeah? Now, what's wrong with meatloaf, Darren? 
I'm just filling. Filling. But I'm scared. I get the jokes. <laughs> and on the cruise, we'll have no choice because dinner is at 8.30. Mm. We're going to stay up late. What's on the left in there? Nothing? A whole lot of trouble for you, that's what's under there. So as you saw, there was a little bit of evidence of something being left on my plate and I kind of anticipated that might be an issue. Uh, with the waiter, so I tried my best to hide it. Yeah, it was, I was, it was a very filling meal and I was punished. <laughs> uh, so yeah, next thing, uh, the waiter comes over, force feeds me the uh, rest of the green beans off the plate uh, with a fork. I thought he was going to hand it to me to do it, but no, he actually <laughs> scooped them all up and popped them in my mouth. <laughs> he gave you one little mouthful. It was quite a large mouthful. My petite little mouth. So then how is your tea starter? Excellent. Um, I'd give it four Kenobis. Yeah? Yeah, it was nice. Um, the, was it raspberry, like, sort of sauce that came with it? Coolie, yeah. Coolie? That was amazing. That was something I never thought I'd have with, like, a... I would have in the uh, apple with it. You know how those are. I don't eat them. <laughs> uh, the tea is really nice. Um, really nice to spread on that kind of uh, toasted bread. And then the uh, grapes and the, the uh, apple with it was really nice, really refreshing. I wouldn't know. As an accompaniment to the starter. You wouldn't know, would you, Darren, would you? Because it's too healthy for you. And then the main. What is this, the elbow family? You were gone. Yeah, you were gone, too. And then how was your main? How was your meatloaf, Darren? Um, really, really good. However, it, as I, I I'm not a huge meat lover so if I have a, a like a large portion of meat I very rarely finish it I knew I was going to get in trouble but the meatloaf was really good it was really tasty the garlic mashed potatoes were excellent as well the green beans were lovely until the last bit at the end where I got told off and I'm still <laughs> still tasting green bean now <laughs> But yeah, excellent. I'd give that four, four Kenobis. So I had the uh, platter of multiple meats. Multiple meats? <laughs> what was it called? Yeah, Mom's uh, sampler. sampler. Mom's sampler of, of uh, a selection of meats. So the meatloaf was really nice. I've never had meatloaf before and had a really great flavour. Really nice meat. There was no kind of gristle or anything fat in there, so that was really good. The brisket, very soft, uh, very moist. Nice gravy on top, moist. And the chicken was really nice as well. Great flavour on the chicken. Mashed potato, very smooth, nice with the gravy. And the green beans were very well cooked as well. So, uh, very nice meal overall. Starters, I'll give four shrimps on a barbie. The main meal, I will give five shrimps. Five shrimps on a barbie. I actually really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. We've watched quite a few blogs on this uh, in the past and uh, I didn't actually think I would like the food. I thought it'd just be more about the experience of the restaurant, but actually I really enjoyed the food as well. So uh, yeah, yeah, both great experience. The exper both the experience and the, the food has been outstanding. Yes, yes. And surprising. Yes. And you gentlemen. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> uh, We had Chris as a server and he was like really good. He, uh, he was very attentive, knew all the jokes. Uh, start like picked on one of us, so the rest of us. Yeah, exactly. There we go. And uh, and what is Spanky? Spanky's a brat. <laughs> Enough said about me. I had the same as uh, uh, Rob, and uh, the uh, gravy was really good. The selection of meats was fantastic. Uh, I would give it uh, four and a half Tuscans out of five. <laughs> Come on, Spanky. Uh, same thing. It's very delicious, and I give it uh, five jaws out of five. <laughs> oh, God. What did you do with that? <laughs> now Darren's going to have to go home and do some more symbols for uh, the extra <laughs> food ratings. That's my home.
So, uh, final overall impression of the 50s prime time uh, cafe. I actually really enjoyed it. I, uh, Darren had suggested it a few times over the last couple of years and I actually avoided it because I just didn't think it looked appealing. I thought the food looked a bit stodgy and I just didn't really want to do the experience. But actually it was kind of a, a 180 flip where I really enjoyed that experience and I'd definitely go back for that food again. I really enjoyed the food. Uh, the experience was really good in terms of the dining experience. Definitely uh, helps if you get a good waiter. And um, it's actually quite funny when we saw uh, the same waiter making a little girl cry on a different table for real. Uh, she was not having it and not uh, very upset by the fact that she was told she didn't have any friends because uh, she was a grass. But um, no, definitely, I would definitely recommend that restaurant having gone there and being very apprehensive in the past about wanting to eat there, so yeah. Yeah, um, reiterating what Rob said basically. Uh, really fun, really surprisingly good. Um, Chris, the server, slash cousin, uh, member of a family. Um, he was hilarious. He, he got all the great, like, sort of comic cues. And like Rob was saying, <laughs> seeing a young girl <laughs> come to Disney World <laughs> and be told that she's got no friends is... <laughs> It's wrong, but it's the highlight of the day. <laughs> Poor girl was like crying at the table. Genuinely crying. But Mish me, uh, was very lovely and explained that he was um, a brat and he was having to wear the cap with the uh, sort of I'm a brat on it and um, gave it to her to sort of just like basically calm her down and it worked. Uh, so it was just a really lovely experience. Uh, if you get the chance to go there, do it. Don't be afraid of being embarrassed. Um, we, we are quite shy people and we lapped it up it was it was great um being told off etc uh, but yeah try it if you can it was a blast while we walk and work hard in batu fighting off the enemy uh, we'd like to know whether you've been to prime time and whether you've either been naughty and been punished or indeed, we didn't get a chance to have dessert. So what would you advise for our next visit for a dessert? Is there anything you would recommend? Please put it down in the comments below. So after dinner, we headed straight over to the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. We did notice that the process was moving a lot smoother this time and the people weren't sitting down at the hollow chest deck and uh, taking photos and kind of walking around the area anymore. So I don't know if that's been phased out or they just got a lot more organized when they're putting people on the Millennium Falcon. Right pilot, push the flashing button to take off. That's you. Pilot on the left. Oh. Move your stick to fly right and left. Oh. I was just pilot. Oh. Face it action. Things are getting too hot. We've got to get out of here. So Darren and I were both fortunate enough to get pilots on our first run and this was both a blessing and a curse for me as I was also holding the video camera and trying to pilot the Millennium Falcon while also holding the camera actually proved quite difficult. I had turned around the viewfinder as well so I couldn't look through the camera so I couldn't actually tell where I was shooting so I wasn't shooting people half the time. It was quite a disastrous first Millennium Falcon uh, flight. We were flying all over the place and it probably didn't help the fact that I was trying to film at the same time as fly. This was probably our worst run of the whole trip, but uh, they did get a lot better from there. So while I try on Han Solo shirts, we'd like to thank you for coming along and joining us for this dinner and an evening stroll around Batu. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time where we'll be heading to the Magic Kingdom for the first time in over two years. I personally can't wait. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.